name is Dewey. I know I'm down. I got the fix that hit the man every time. I do some moves that get the cheap. Oh, baby. The contract on the is a six. finally decided to show up. <laughs> I mean, you kind of brought me here in the sticks. Like, what the heck? Where are we? Mm, I know for me to know and for you to find out. Oh, well, I know I'm man of my word, so let's just get this over with so I don't have to look at your ugly face anymore. Oh, you will be regretting those uh, words. Sign it. Sign it right now. <sighs> look. This is, this is the last time you get a championship match. This is the last time you're going to put your name in ink on a contract. Because after I'm done with you, <laughs> there's not going to be a flip daddy anymore. Just you. It's set in stone. Right. Any problems with it? No, but uh, I'm keeping this championship. No, you're not. It, it, it's... That it's championship fine. will be mine! No, no, no. You don't understand. Hold on, hold on. Yes, it will. Hold on, hold on. Get him flip daddy. Get him flip daddy. Chill. There's no sense. There's no sense in... This is a contract. <laughs> Get up. Come on. Forget, forget it. We're having a match right here, right now. Oh, my. <laughs> And that's what you get! You see this? You see this? This is mine! They told him, don't you ever come around here? Don't wanna see a face, you better disappear. Ow. <laughs> My back. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> uh, welcome back to another video. Mm -hmm. My name is Tanner Davis, and I'm here with your boy Dylan Flip Daddy Clark. Today, we will be predicting the 2023 Night of Champions match card. Ladies and gentlemen, like, share, subscribe. Enough talking. Let's get into the first match on the card. First match on the card two weeks ago, not last Monday, but the Monday before last, there was a like a 40 man, 30 man, 20 man battle royal to crown the number one contender for Gunther's intercontinental title. And what you had was the final three, Ricochet, Bronson Reed, and Mustafa Ali. And Bronson Reed picked up Ricochet on his, on his shoulders onto the apron, and Mustafa Ali drop kicked both of them to the outside. And Mustafa Ali ended up becoming the number one contender. So, first match on the card for Night of Champions, you have Gunther defending his Intercontinental Championship versus Mustafa Ali. Dylan, you know, I won the last predictions video, like always. But like, like, but like one match. I like match. one, I think, one yeah, match. like one match. So, my prediction is Gunther's been really dominant. He's going to retain his championship. I really, I really hate to say this because I just can't stand Gunther. But... I see him retaining. I don't see Mustafa Ali getting the Intercontinental Championship anytime soon. Yeah, it's stupid to think if Mustafa Ali is going to win. But, anyways, um, you know. Next match <laughs> for the SmackDown Women's Championship. We have Mommy. 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 Rhea Ripley defending her title versus Natalia. Dylan. This is the, <laughs> probably the most... This is going to be probably the worst match of the night, if we're going to be honest. Rhea Ripley is going to destroy this woman. Natalia, yeah. who uh, you're not even going to get close. Yeah. I, I think this match might be over pretty quickly. So so you got you got. Rhea I got, I got Rhea. I got Rhea. Yeah, Rhea. I, think, I, think, I think Mommy's going to put her into a grave. I mean, she's 
to probably force her into retirement. Next match, another women's Allow match. Allow me your familiar face. <laughs> another women's match. We have Raw Women's Champion Bianca Belair, the EST of WWE, defending her title versus Asuka. So who you got? Who you got? I got. My girl, Bianca Belair, cause she's on her own against the wall. The pressure's building much so she will never fall. Instead of crying, they all hit right, her all roar. Alright, alright, oh, that's, that's enough. Bianca that's enough. Belair's okay. winning. Okay. Well, as you know, th this has happened about 20, 20, 20 times. times now. <laughs> and Bianca wins every single time. So, uh, I... I not a champions. I really think this is Oscar's time to shine. If she, if she's ever gonna retain this championship, it needs to be now. She's getting old. You can tell. But uh, Asians don't crack. Oh yeah, that is. the great no, no. Muda. And and that's not that saying anything derogatory. The great Muda dang retired at dang sixty five years old or however true, old he true, was. True. But I do think. So. I do think that WWE will be nice enough to give Oscar a chance. So next, next match. <laughs> All right, another women's match. Oh back my gosh, to back so to many back. Women. women's matches. We have probably what is going to be the best, maybe the best women's match on the card. If Becky can hold up against the goat, Becky Lynch versus Trish Stratus. I'm not sure. You're gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to think. So go ahead. Go ahead. All right, Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch, 100%. The man. <sighs> I have no clue. I don't know what's gonna happen. Look, they, they've, been, they've been hyping Becky up so much, but I will say they've also been hyping up Trish. Trish. But guess what happened? Trish took out Lita. Lita and Becky were tag team champs. They lost the titles. Is Lita going to come and interfere? Just for the purposes of the predictions video, I'm going with the GOAT, Trish Stratus. You know, she's probably, she's, she's going to win. She got, Becky's got nothing on her. I, I really do think that this match could go either way. I, yeah. Either way. I, and to be honest... I don't care. <laughs> yeah, if we're being honest. But anyways, uh, let's you know what I do care the about? Next, the next, next match. match. That's what I care about because <laughs> this <laughs> next match will crown the first ever world heavyweight champion. Now it's a different title. It's a different it's title, a, it's guys. A different it's time. a different so, title. You know, it's it's a calm different down. Title. Calm down. It's a different title. But we are having Seth freaking Rollins versus the phenomenal AJ. Mm. Style. You see how I'm yawning? Because AJ is irrelevant. I, I, I really love AJ Styles. He is a top five of all time in my heart. I, I'm a big AJ Styles fan. Oh. But you tell me who deserves it more than Seth freaking Rollins. Nobody. He's worked his butt off. With Roman holding the tag team titles, he was still maybe... Arguably the top star in the company last year, Seth freaking Rollins has got to he's got to win. It, it, he only deserves it. So my prediction is Seth Rollins. I 100% agree with that statement. I think Seth is going to win, and also it just brings a joy to me knowing that Seth will win because, as you know, he has been everywhere, done everything that he can, yeah. and he's fallen short every single time. In the crowd. Absolutely loves him. You know, Dylan, the thing is, I, I agree with you on Seth, but he is filming that Marvel movie, you know. True. So true. if AJ wins, wait, wait, I'm not going to be mad if AJ out. wins because I love AJ. But hear me out. Seth wins. He goes away to film his movie. They built something. There's something around that. And then for his return, The Rock comes and takes him. <laughs> <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> Next match. I want The Rock to come back. <laughs> <laughs> For the undisputed tag team championships, we're continuing the Bloodline versus Sami Zayn rival. We have your champions, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, defending their titles versus Roman Reigns and Solo Sokoa. So, so, Dylan, so. Here you got. Well, I, I, this is just probably going to be the best in that match of the whole entire night just to see how the storyline is going to play out yes i really think that kevin and sammy will win but also i do think that there's going to be an uproar whenever sammy wins because sammy as you know shouldn't be in saudi arabia <laughs> and if you know you know we're not if you know you know you know okay anyways 
But I also think that Solo and the Usos will come out. Well, Solo's already in it, as we know. But I do think that Solo is going to turn on Roman. As you know, what was it, SmackDown, I believe? I Roman Roman, like Roman looks afraid of Solo. And I, I this, this right here... If the bloodline, if that storyline is ever going to come out to a play where the bloodline falls, Night of Champions is that night. So what do you think? What do you think? Uh, I, I think you hit a lot of points, but I think you also missed. What's going to happen is you're going to have Jimmy and Jay come out and help Sammy and Kevin win against Roman and Solo. And then it's going to set up the rivalry between Roman and Solo versus Jay and Jimmy or Roman versus Jay for SummerSlam. So you're potentially saying that Roman's going to have the Universal title? No, Roman WWE? and Solo aren't winning. Jimmy and no. Jay are hel helping Kevin and Sammy win okay, and I, setting I, I, up the rivalry sorry, right, where the bloodline will implode. Solo is not ready yet to go. As much as I love Solo Sokoa, he's my favorite on the bloodline. He is not ready for a world championship run. Not yet. Not yet. He's just not ready. He will get there. And I think Solo may be the perfect person to throne Roman. But. Dwayne the Rock Johnson is going to throw Roman. <laughs> but. Calling it. The Usos right now are hating Roman. Roman is treating them poorly. So why would they not help Sammy and Kevin? As you heard on Raw last Monday, Kevin and Sammy devoted their championship win at Night of Champions for the Usos. This storyline is so interesting. You just it's, don't know how it's going to play out, which is, is why this is going to be the best match. This is probably the best storyline that WWE has come up with have. in such a long time. And it, because it's played out for so long. And people are getting... I'm not getting bored of it. I'm loving every single every minute, minute of it because so it's so there, unpredictable. I'm sitting there with my popcorn just yeah, eating. Yeah, <laughs> you don't know what's going to happen. But we can't sit here and talk 20 minutes about this match. So we're going to go into the saddest part of the video. <laughs> It's the main event. Last match. Last match. It's the last match. And I, I don't know how it's going to play out. If you watch Monday, Cody like broke his arm or something. Yeah. I don't even know. But you have Cody Rhodes versus Brock Lesnar in the triple main event, whatever they're calling uh, it. I don't, I don't know. know. At this point. They, they but we're calling it the main event because it's the last match they put up on the card on WWE.com. So, I do think your winner will be the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar, and it will set up a third match between the two at SummerSlam. Mm -hmm. That's a good take. I like yeah, that take. Because Cody won the last one. Brock wins the second one. Sets up a third match at SummerSlam. I don't know if that's really going to happen. I'm just saying something for the prediction. I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, this match is extremely critical for... For Cody to win, I think this is he needs to win this. He really does, and I just I don't see what the purpose of Brock winning other than just to show that he's the so-called beast and carnage that he really is. But as you saw last pay per view, what was that? What was premium that? live event? Oh, the, the premium live event. Excuse me, I'm <laughs> sorry. I've been corrected by my co-host because yes. you know I this is my channel now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, backlash. We saw the backlash, Cody yeah. won with like a roll up or something. It made him look really weak. So, well, I mean, Bro Brock was also bleeding from the face. Yeah, but the roll up made him look really. I, in my opinion, it made him look weak. When you are main eventing against the biggest star in the company at WrestleMania, then you go on to backlash and win by a roll up. That makes you look weak in my book. But. If, if that that's the notion that Dylan's going with, then it matches up with this prediction that Cody Rhodes, you know, he won weak with the roll-up. He's got to look strong in this match. And what other better way to give the win uh, to Cody against none other than Brock Lesnar, who's but Brock Lesnar. If I'm being quite honest with everyone, this match, I could care less about. <laughs> what? Just, just because, okay, don't get me wrong. Love Cody, love Brock. But I just, I just said they needed to fill out something. I, I, I personally do not like this feud that's going on between them two. If it, you're gonna go from the main event Roman Reigns to Brock Lesnar just out of nowhere. So your prediction, final prediction. Yes, yes. Final prediction will be Cody Rhodes. Uh, I, I just, just for the sake of the predictions video, yeah, Cody. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank you so much for watching. We're getting back into the groove of things. We're going to have some more. I, I still have two, four, three more videos of DLC demolition that need to be recorded this and boy edited. This boy slacking. Mock trial is officially over. We had mock trial nationals this past week. A vlog is going to come you said, out. You saying the vlog's coming out? After I post Ooh. regionals oh, and oh stay. Because <laughs> I haven't had time to edit <laughs> oh them at my all. Gosh. Man's been to nationals and hasn't even filmed regionals. Well, it's Regionals, guys, is almost done being edited. It'll probably come out within the next month or so. And then after that state and then after that nationals. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like the vlogs uh, and you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing because we're going to have three vlogs within the next few months coming out. Maybe even more. But we're coming out with DLC Demolition uh, throughout the summer. And then at the end of summer, we're having Dream Match, the start of Dream Match for WWE 2K23. I have some other ideas that I want to do, like I want to do a showcase video, other stuff like that. Maybe even start a universe mode. That's something that's been on my criteria for a while. But whatever y'all want to see, let me know. Feedback is very helpful. Your criticism is helpful. Ladies and gentlemen, enough of me rambling on and on and on. Dylan, do you have anything to say to the viewers before we head out? The last thing that I gotta say is there's this little little red button right there. Wait, it, it's just, it's you gotta just, click that, click that, click that. Where, where's it that, at? Is that, it right that, over that here? That button. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, where we're gonna. That's, put the, it. that's the that's the that's where you gotta exit the full screen. Then you gotta yeah, yeah, click yeah. the button that's right it's under true. us. And then right? if you if you just absolutely want to, there's a little bell. Right? Is there a bell? There's a bell. There's a bell. Oh, there's another button that's like this. But oh, if you oh, press it, yeah, yeah. It uh, don't loop. don't don't do it this way because this 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 is the wrong way. You do it his way. Yeah. If if you mm -hmm. see it like, if you see it like that, we don't like that. No, don't do it. Blue. Anyways, mm -hmm. guys, we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. We love you guys. Like, share, subscribe, and we will see you in the next predictions video. Goodbye. Yeah!